What's up guys? Um, this video is, is because I love watching um, Adam Savage's tested one day build videos. Um, right now it's about 10 o'clock at night so it's more of a one night build. Um, but I'm gonna be building something. Um, but before that, I just uh, picked up this today, this guitar. Um, if you didn't know, um, I'm like a guitar addict. Like I love buying guitars and stuff uh, to I don't know, feed my addiction of this collection. Um, anyways, I got this, um, I actually ordered another one. I have an equipment scout, if you didn't know. Um, he hunts down guitars for me. Um, he found two of these. One of these were, it was in Florida, and one of them was in California. I got both of them. Um, uh, so this here is a Epiphone uh, 335 um, from 1995, which is kind of cool. Um, I mean, she is beautiful. It's a, it's a beautiful guitar. Um, uh, the guy who bought it, uh, he was the second owner of the guitar. Um, so, so these are Seymour Duncan pickups in here, and we're, he's not quite sure what these are. I haven't pulled them out yet. Um, this is just sat in a case for a few hours. This is literally, to me, is only a few hours old. I just got this um, this afternoon. Um, it's a beautiful guitar, but this is not the reason we're here today. It's not for this guitar, so I'm gonna put this one away. Um, the reason we're here is not actually for guitar at all. Funny enough, it's for a, a case, it's a stand for a case for the guitar. Um, so, um, it's actually this, it's this case right here. This case holds my classical guitar, um, but the issue is, I, I like to stand all my cases up like you do here. So I'm actually move the camera so the angle's better. Okay, that's better. So I keep all my cases here. The issue is, is all of them have like flat bottoms or little pegs at the bottom that I can um, stand it up. And this one here is round. Um, so when, when, when you stand it up, it just has a tendency to roll over. Um, so what I've been, there's no guitar in there, by the way. Um, this is from um, when I ordered a guitar. This is what the neck came in. Um, and so I kind of just let this sit at the bottom. It's cardboard. It's flimsy. Uh, uh, and I want to make I want to make a new one. Um, but I have some leftover wood from a project I was working on, um, actually from my dad. Um, so uh, I'm going to use some of the leftover wood that I have to build this. I just want to find a... I want to find some angles and not. Re I'm not going to measure it out because I'm too impatient. But um, I'm going to try to find like the best shape. I don't think it's, I kind of like this shape because it kind of helps direct it in better. But I don't know if I need it this big either. So I'm going to try to experiment a little bit. I want to put th this guitar away first. I'm going to experiment. All right. With the speed of light we cross the stratosphere. Oh yeah. Okay, so this here is how the guitar is set up. I keep it on this little thing, and I kind of find a way where it, where it's gonna balance like that. Not the best thing in the world. Um, I do have, I have some wood like this. I have some, uh, I have some some like cheap pine and some other like two by four type wood here um, that I might try to like. I probably might use this for the bulk of it, and maybe this for some extra stuff. So what I was thinking is just kind of, I mean, it's gonna sit shorter, which I don't mind at all. Maybe it's just I got my uh, my tape measure out. One thing about small studios like this is you spend a lot of time on the floor, which is nice. It kind of brings you back to like building stuff in my childhood. Okay. Okay, so there's a really famous artist that I really like named Tom Sachs. And he does this thing that says uh, you cut, cut uh, you paint the wood and then you cut it and it gets a really you get to see like the end um, the end grain which is exactly what I want. Now the only issue is 
my marks here. So all I'm gonna do, I'm just marking the top here. All right. I decided to go with black. We let that dry. Alrighty, well, I grabbed a clamp to clamp this one I cut. Let's see here. First cut done. Not the shortest cut in the world. Not to worry about it. Okay. I got my, these is what I'm thinking will be my sides. Right? So, grab this. That should be good. Get a sharpie. I have a lot of black sharpies. Drying time. Okay, I cut one side a little bit longer because I am gonna kind of go with this shape here. So, it's only supposed to hold up an empty case. Okay. Okay. Awesome. So I'm just gonna go inside with this maybe. Did I f this up? No, we're fine, we're good. Okay, so I don't have long enough screws, but I have a solution. Like I always do. I'm gonna put the screws back. I'm gonna grab wood glue and I mean, that's not really going anywhere now, but I'm hopefully gonna wood glue this in. I'm gonna go outside for, for that part. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is snag my clamp here, try to find a way. How did I miscalculate this so bad? And I don't care about the glue drip. I really don't. Okay. Pump this side full of wood glue. Wood glue is great. What I love about wood glue is it literally tells you what it's gonna do, and it's probably the best glue, at least in my, my perspective, it's probably the best glue around. Because it, it's supposed to glue two pieces of wood together. It's, that's exactly what this does, okay. How are we looking here? Are you looking already? I feel pretty good about that. Alright, let me see how dry these are. Fairly dry, actually. 
I think we got a little bit more longer on the dry time. So I'm gonna cut the camera and then we'll restart when I get this thing up on and up with the guitar stand or case. Okay, so it fits, it works. It's actually perfect. Um, the issue I had with the cardboard version of this was just too small. I would have to nail it exactly. I made this a little bit bigger so I don't have to be spot on the middle. And it still works. So, perfect. Um, I, I did have a chance while that glue was drying and I wasn't filming to play this bad boy. Whew. I'm gonna do a video on this. Even though this isn't a guitar channel, I still try to make this channel about things that I love. One of them is guitar, so I'm gonna probably do a little video on this. Um, anyways, um, and then the other thing I was thinking of is um, the cases here, I need to start going on the other side of it. So I'm gonna put this uh, closer to the door. So on the other side of all these cases. Um, the reason why is, um, sadly, I'm not a real um, classical guitar player. This is actually the one that goes in the case and I accidentally restrung it wrong. But um, anyways, I don't really travel with this. So I don't really have much need uh, for this case at the moment, um, but these cases get used a hell of a lot more. So they're closer to the guitars. I feel more comfortable with that. Um, so I'm gonna put this on the other side. Um, so that is like my one day, one night build. Um, my little solution to this problem. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you, uh, I'll see you soon. All right.